Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a hot dog cart business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start a hot dog cart business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Consider the hot dog cart industry if you're looking for a low-cost startup opportunity that has the potential to grow into a large, profitable business. It is simple to get started in this industry. Unlike other businesses that require large amounts of inventory and equipment, the initial investments for a cart business will be minuscule. While there is plenty of competition, if you are imaginative, you can help to distinguish your cart from others and turn your business into a profitable enterprise. Hot dog cart businesses offer quick and easy food on the go. These carts are frequently seen on city sidewalks, parks, business districts, construction sites, and parking lots, as well as at festivals and events. These carts have the leverage of being easily transportable, allowing owners to seek out high traffic areas where they can make the most sales each day. Most carts sell hot dogs with various toppings as well as a variety of drinks. Some places also serve chips and other sides. Cart configurations can range from simple carts that can be pulled behind a bicycle to more elaborate carts that are transported behind vehicles. According to research, the mobile food business industry grew by 5% between 2015 and 2020. This expansion was fueled in part by a growing interest in unique and gourmet foods, as well as changing consumer tastes. Many people increased their spending on eating out, preferring lower-cost foods that were easier to access and consume. Some of these industry profits were also driven by the growth of the food truck industry. While the food truck craze is expected to fade, business owners can still benefit from the industry's popularity by distinguishing themselves from the competition. The market is expected to generate $4 billion in revenue by 2020. There are 84,679 people employed by the 71,992 businesses that exist. The hot dog industry has been shaped by a number of trends. One of these trends, according to research, is an increase in hot dog localization. Various sorts of hot dogs and toppings, such as the New York style dog and the Michigan Coney Island dog, have developed identities associated with specific cities. These regional associations allow vendors to provide variety and unique options on their menus in order to appeal to both tourists and locals. Vendors can also capitalize on the growing trend of toppings bars. Rather than presenting hot dogs with specific topping combinations, a toppings bar allows customers to go wild and customize their dogs to their personal preferences. Customers can get creative with toppings like lettuce, guacamole, Fritos, mushrooms, and sour cream, which can get them excited about hot dogs. This variety also encourages repeat customers because they can customize a different hot dog with each visit. While hot dog carts provide convenient eat-on-the-go options, they are also increasingly venturing into the catering world. Some hot dog cart owners have developed catering packages in which they deliver orders to offices, parties, and other venues. Hot dog carts cater to customers who are looking for food that is both affordable and convenient. Carts with varying specialties and locations may appeal to slightly different demographics. A cart outside of a sports venue, for example, will market to sports fans, whereas a gourmet cart in a business district will market to professionals looking for a quick lunch. A business degree is not required to start a hot dog cart service. Certain skills and experiences, on the other hand, can increase the likelihood of your business's success, such as 1. Hands-on experience with food preparation and handling. A cart owner with prior food preparation and handling experience is better prepared to implement safe food handling procedures. Cart owners may also be required by their state's regulations to obtain a food safety certification through an accredited program. 2. Interpersonal abilities. Vendors who are lively and can easily strike up a conversation with customers provide a better buying experience. These interactions are critical to gaining customer loyalty. 3. Physical fitness. Running a hot dog cart is a physically demanding job, especially when the carts are running for long periods of time in the hot sun. Physical fitness and health will benefit cart owners. 4. Leadership experience. Previous hiring, training, and management experience will be valuable if a cart owner decides to expand the business and hire employees. The purchase of a hot dog cart is one of the most expensive expenses when starting a hot dog cart business. While a new cart can cost between $1,000 and $3,000, used carts are much less expensive, often costing less than $500. Expect to spend around $1,000 on startup costs, plus the cost of the cart. 
The following are typical startup costs for a hot dog cart business. 1. The hot dog cart. 2. Inventory items such as hot dogs, soda, water, fries, chips, cheese, onions, condiments, and so on. 3. Napkins, ice, foil, sanitizer, and propane are examples of supplies. 4. Cash to cover the business's operational costs such as salary, insurance, and rental fees, among other things. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a hot dog cart business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.